Now let's take a look at how to use a sharp IR sensor. And what these sensors do is there's an LED in there. It sends out infrared light. You can't see it. It bounces off an object and receives into the receiver right here. And it can measure how long it took for that light to bounce off an object and come back and give you a general measurement of distance. It's not highly accurate, but it's pretty darn good. They're very common, very easy to find online. There's a bunch of different models. Before buying one of these distance sensors, make sure you take a look at the data sheet so that you know that it fits within the parameters of what you're looking to measure and also that you can get a specific model number because the code we're going to use actually uses that model number to calibrate the sensing. Let's go ahead and hook this up. As you can see, mine right here has three wires, power ground and the signal. And I think to make this a little more manageable because these leads are very fine, I'm just going to put them gently into a breadboard. There's my power, there's my ground, and there's my signal. I could solder some leads to these to make it a little more robust, but for now I think this should do. And then for connecting it to my Arduino, I know right away that this is five volt compliant. We got five volts and we've got ground into row two. And the last one is the signal. And I don't know where that needs to be hooked up, so I'll just leave it there for now. Now let's open up the Arduino software and get that library that makes using the sensor so easy. So if we go into include library, manage libraries, Oh, mine's updating for a second. There we go. And if I type in sharp, there it is, sharp IR, and you have multiple versions. I'll do the latest one. Click install. Again, I always like to quit, although believe it or not, it seems to work okay without quitting, but just to avoid any problems, because if something goes wrong, the last thing I want to worry about is the Arduino IDE. And now I can go into examples, and I should have there we go, sharp IR get distance. Now a few things to note with this. Number one, you need a sharp IR sensor, mine is a sharp. Arduino 5 volt, we know. Arduino ground, we got it. Arduino analog zero, kind of figured it was gonna be that one. It's the favorite analog pin. And when you go through here, here's the library that's included. So that handles all the timing and anything else that you need to work with this sensor. Here's what's interesting though. This is something that I think is actually quite rare in a library. This library is built for multiple sharp IR sensors. I'm gonna leave it with this one. It's the GP2YA41SK0F attached to pin analog zero. Let's just go ahead and plug my Arduino in. Let's upload the code. And we'll open up a serial monitor. There we go. So it's saying 31. If I go down to just about four, there we go. So that's the analog output. Now what's interesting is I know that my model number is the GP2Y0A21. This is an A41. YK0F. So if I copy that from the data sheet and I paste it in here and I verify it, see it works. It understands that sensor. And that's kind of important to know. So what you might want to do is when you find your sharp distance sensor, get the model from the data sheet. That's right here. Sharp provides it. And make sure that that model number is compatible with your library. Now when I open up the serial monitor, you can see it used to be 31, now it's 81, because if I look at the data sheet, this has a, a different range, and you can see I'm all the way down to about 10, which is about where this measures from, 10 to 80 centimeters. And it's working perfectly. So if you need to get distance from a fairly simple sensor to implement, you know, there's no external power supply, you have a very simple library, and it's quite accurate within about a centimeter, the sharp distance sensors are a perfect choice.